text, basically some of you maybe already know this. Uh, the bow tie approach the takes, um, takes it, uh, yeah. starts with the, the risk itself, the event, which can be a risk, but it can also be an opportunity. So if something goes better than you expected, it's an opportunity, but it's still something, an event. Maybe triggered by uh, an incident or something, uh, but still something that you hadn't planned on or expected. So what can lead to that event are different root causes. For example, the right word would probably be cause, because root causes is like um, kind of root cause analysis. So I'll change that. Um, the covering of the root causes, the green ones are those that we can affect, that we can influence, and what we should influence either to prevent something from happening or to optimize if it's an opportunity. If there's something we really wanted to, to, uh, uh, to gain uh, as a reward, then we should try and optimize that. The uh, red one is then obviously something we can't influence, and the yellow one is something that we, to a certain extent, can, can influence. So some of the examples of preventive measures are rules, policies, procedures, anything you could do to put in place to, to either prevent or optimize. Then on the uh, right hand side, you have the, the uh, consequence or the impacts of a risk. So you could have either losses or benefits. And it could be financial losses, uh, passenger satisfaction, uh, decrease, um, image, uh, you have it. Um, and then the benefits could, yeah, uh, obviously if you have exploited something, uh, then uh, you, would, you, would, you would see an upside, upside risk. So what kind of reactive measures do we have? We have the emergency response plans, business continuity, continuity plans, contingency plans, practice management, communication insurance, um, and, and a lot of other things, obviously, but the, those are the main categories 